Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu. What we're going to talk about is recession-proof businesses. Today we're going to talk about creating a home dessert or cooking business. I know you're like, what? I'm going to give you all of the details and the math and how this works and how you can set it up. This episode of Hustlers Kung Fu was brought by HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com. The current course that we're developing out is how to have the critical mindset. The link's below. You can get in and you get this good education to make your mind rock solid. All right. So I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but creating a dessert business or a cooking business can be recession proof. And then you're like, what? How does that work, Lyndon? I'm about to tell you. First of all, here's how restaurants make money with desserts. Let's say you order a slice of cake and it's gonna be five or six bucks per slice or maybe even seven or eight, right? The cake mix, the eggs, the milk and the frosting, it was like $3 to make the whole cake. So they've already doubled a profit off one slice. So the ingredients for cooking, if you know how to shop, can be very cheap and you make your money on the margin for you know providing a prepared meal. What you can do, and you can start it using Facebook, Twitter, whatever, wherever you can get in contact, because see, this is, this is gonna be a local business. This isn't gonna be an internet big type business, but you're probably gonna be better off reaching out to people on Facebook or people in your town. And you know, like my friend, she makes cookies and she's started ramping up her cookie business again and she made like 300 bucks last week just off cookies and we're in a recession because the thing is it may be a recession but people are going to still want to eat people still have their sweet tooth so this is one of the businesses that you could create from home that has low overhead but can have very high margins depending upon how you price your selections you can be cookies you can make cupcakes you can make cakes very recession proof also because i'm going to do a separate video about this but you can do prepared meals now this is going to be all over the place because blue apron their stock went up and trifecta these are companies that send people pre-cooked meals to their house for them to stay in their prep mode for working out losing weight whatever well what you can do and there, there's so many things you can do here you can specialize in vegan meals. You can specialize in uh, Southern cooking meals, whatever. You can pick a niche and advertise to people because essentially, let me give you the math. Let's say you're a CrossFit person and you work out in a CrossFit gym. You already know what kind of meals that these folks want. And you could just walk around and say, look, you know, I'm going to start a little prep service. And would you want to be part of it? Because here it is. Most people like me, myself, I hate cooking. You know, it's not a passion of mine. And this is why until recently, before all of this stuff happened, I was going out to eat. But now I'm eating in and I just went to the grocery store and got stuff I knew I would eat because I just don't like messing around in the kitchen. And there are many people who don't like getting messed around in the kitchen. So if you can prepare pre-prepared vegan meals, and here's the thing, you don't need hundreds of customers. If you just go ahead and get yourself uh, 30 to 40 customers and you charge them, let's see, um, you got 30 customers and see this is the thing where the cooking is such a winning ideal is because it's a consumable and they will buy multiple meals from you. So you've got, let's just say 30 customers and they're getting, and you're going to be super cheap because you can get the food really cheap because you can go to Costco or Sam's and get your ingredients. And you got 30 customers times 150 per month. It's $4,500 times 12. It's $54,000 a year, just 30 customers. Because see, your, your whole goal here, once you start this business, isn't to get a bunch of customers. Your goal is to get a customer, make the customer really happy, and keep the customer, and add more and more customers because essentially, since you'll be working out of your home, you can only serve so many customers to begin with without having to go to a, a commercial kitchen. 
So 30, 50, you know, 30, 50 customers can literally earn you 50 to $70,000 a year. So you just gotta have top notch service. You gotta be on point. You gotta get, and your meals, they gotta be delicious. This is the key. Your meals have to be delicious because I ordered some pre uh, prep food from Trifecta and it was kind of, it no seasoning whatsoever this stuff is ultra low calorie and this is what some people are looking for it's just i didn't like it and these services because you know you're going to have the large services like blue apron <clears throat> trifecta mega meal just go ahead and do some research and you will see that there are so many meal prep services so you can make desserts or you can make meals and this is pretty much recession proof because people got to eat Recession or no recession, people gonna eat. And you know, you just gotta figure out a way for you to get in there and you gotta be really on top of your customer service. You gotta be early, you gotta be Johnny on the spot. You cannot be messing around with this business because your goal is to get customers and maintain customers. Because when I, I had my personal chef, she was making 2,500 a month just from me as you know one customer and you know I also had to buy the food so you could do that if because here's the thing I know a lot of people are gonna be hurt a lot of people are gonna be struggling but in every bad economy you still have a segment of the population that's still gonna be rich and they're still gonna want their creature comforts they're still gonna want their services and if you can find a well-to-do family and become their personal chef that could be two to three thousand dollars a month just right there and you can do this in addition to having your regular J-O-B. Once again, because the way uh, it worked for us, she would come in and once a week and she had all the meals pre-cooked. Well, actually it was daily. Actually, come to think of it, uh, it was daily and she would stop by just before dinner and all the stuff would be cooked and it was nice and tasty and it was good. And uh, we were doing, I was doing dinner and breakfast because I don't really eat lunch except I ate lunch today. But once again, a cooking service, a prep service, something like this is recession proof. You can make a lot of money if you have the culinary skills. And just do a little research. Look at the number of cooking channels on YouTube. Look at the number of cooking shows on Facebook. Cooking is huge. Uh, there's a Be Love on here on YouTube. She's become a millionaire from her channel and it was about cooking and eating. She's become a millionaire from a YouTube channel. So once again, or, you know, if you got the skills, you could start a food show because here's one of the things about YouTube. You can make a career out of virtually anything. There's a, a chick, her, her, her show's about cleaning her house. And hundred thousand, two, two, three 300,000 subscribers. And these are for the upper middle income people where they have a wife who can stay home and clean the house because the house is very nice. You can tell, you know, she has two kids, she's a stay at home mom. So there, there's so many things that you can do. So once again, open up your mind and start doing some research because if you're a person where people's like, man, you can really cook, that could be some money for you. That can really be an additional source of income or it can even become your main source of income if you run it correctly. So once again, you're going to buy your ingredients in bulk. You're gonna have a simple menu. Once again, you're not gonna have an overly complicated menu. You're not gonna do custom stuff unless you're gonna charge a grip. You have a simple but tasty menu, buy in bulk and just put it out. Cause there's this place up in Marietta called uh, Brandy's Hot Dogs. All they serve is chili dogs and chili burgers, fries and onion rings. That's all they serve. And literally one day I was in there cause you know, to get a a chili dog, a drink and something is seven bucks. And I was in there and there was like 60 people in there and they spent more than seven bucks because you know, most people had like two dogs and stuff. So that was like 600 bucks. So she was pretty much, I estimated her, she was doing two to $3,000 a day, Monday through Friday, two to $3,000. That's $15,000 per week selling hot dogs, burgers, onion rings and fries with uh, drinks. That's all they, that's all they serve, you know. So your menu doesn't have to be overly complicated. It can be very simple. It can be really, really cool. <clears throat> so once again, start exploring, 
start thinking about what you can do to start your home service. And once again, let's, let's go ahead and have this conversation because some people are going like, I need to get a permit. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just, because you treat people well, you, you keep your kitchen clean, nothing's going to happen. You know, you could do this, you know, you get to the point where you, the money's coming in that you have to go to a commercial kitchen, then yeah, then get your permit, get your inspections, all this other stuff. But I, I will tell you a story. Back in the day when I was a bum and I was living in a boarding house, I got this temp gig with this guy. We were literally throwing ice, <clears throat> the ice, ice man. That story's here on YouTube. And we stopped at this, this house. It wasn't a restaurant, it was a house that they had turned into a kitchen and everybody was coming out with a plate and they would serve food until they ran out. I don't think this place was licensed. I didn't see anything on the walls. I didn't see no health inspections, but the food was banging. And in these crazy economic times, I want you to think about it. code enforcement ain't going to be out like they were before. You, 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 this is your chance. This is your chance to start, to start one of these businesses out of your house and not worry about the inspections and all this other stuff. Because right now, everybody's gonna be trying to be hustling. Nobody's gonna narc on you. People gonna be trying to hustle it. People are gonna be trying to do everything they can to get some money. And this is a recession-proof business. Cooking cookies, cupcakes, cakes, and food. Recession-proof, because people still gotta eat. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and watch this playlist and others because I'm going to be putting out this content to help you make money in these hard economic times. So with that, the next video should be around here somewhere. So I watch it. Watch, watch the next video. Just watch it. All right.